Good day, good day, and welcome to another episode of Red Rocking Rig, a tutorial that is. Today we're going to be covering Imperial Calculated String Weight, so let's get into it. First thing I like to do here is start by drawing the hole. You got some green grass up top, or maybe a little red dirt, either or. So I like to start by uh, getting our lengths in there. We got 5,000 feet, 700 feet, and 650 feet. The first top section there, we got 5 inch heavy wall drill pipe, which in this case here is 25.60 pounds per foot. And then down below, we got some 5 inch heavyweight, which happens to weigh 50.38 pounds per foot. And last but certainly not least, 6 and 3 quarter inch drill collars, which weigh 98 pounds per foot. That is heavy. So now we need to find the total weight. To do that, you're going to take your 5,000 feet of that drill pipe. It times it by 25.60 pounds per foot, which gives us a total of 128,000 pounds. Then you take the 700 feet of heavy weight, times it by 50.38 pounds per foot, because that is what it weighs, and that equals 35,266 pounds. And down below, we got those extremely heavy collars. Well, not that heavy, but pretty heavy. 650 feet of that times by 98 pounds, which gives us a grand total of 63,700 pounds. Okay, take the 128,000 pounds, take the 35,266 pounds, and take the 63,700 pounds and add them all up. You get a grand total of 226,966 pounds. But what's the deal? In air? Oh yeah, that's because we got to add that buoyancy factor. The buoyancy factor, well that's because all that mud's in the hole there and it's making the pipe lighter. So how do we figure out buoyancy factor? Well, there's a little formula here that we got. 65.5 minus your current mud weight divided by 65.5. So right now where we stand in this example, our current mud weight is 11 pounds per gallon. So you take your 11, you slide it up in the formula there, 65.5 minus 11 divided by 65.5 gives you the buoyancy factor, 0 0.83. Now you can see that mud is pushing that pipe up. So you take your 226,966 pounds and you multiply it by your buoyancy factor. We call this the string weight in the fluid. After you do that calculation there, guess what? Your string's lighter. It weighs 188,381 pounds. Okay, so as we stand right now, we got the string weight in the hole. It weighs 188,000 pounds. You had all this pipe pushing down. You know how much that stuff weighs, but something's changed. You got some blocks. You got a Kelly. You got a top drive up there. Where's your weight indicator hang? Your weight indicator. It hangs on your deadline. You don't weigh it underneath the top drive. You don't weigh it down the hole. You weigh it off the deadlines. So that means that you have to add this. Now, you got a top drive, you got a Kelly. It depends rig to rig on how much that stuff weighs. So you need to know how much it weighs on the rig that you're working on. You got to add your blocks on, stuff like that. In this example, the blocks of the top drive will say it weighs 20,000 pounds. So you're going to take 20,000 pounds and you're going to add it on the 188,000 pounds. That gives you a grand total of 208,381 pounds. That is your total hook load in the fluid. Nice job. So what I got here is like a flow sheet type of thing. This one's in metric. I can make them in imperial, whatever we need. I like to use this, bring it up to the drillers. They got the sheet there. They figure out their links, and you just follow the flow through it. As you go, it makes it nice and easy. I'll tell you what. You guys subscribe to my channel. Shoot me a little message. I'll hook you up for free. I got lots of stuff like this, lots of handbooks. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know. I'm here to help, guys. And remember, share this with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe.